everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sydney if you're one of my subscribers that have been here for forever welcome back to my channel but i just wanted to pop on here before this video and say that it's been such a long time since i just filmed like a genuine video and I think I got my spark back a little bit on doing this as like a little hobby of mine like I used two years ago. Um, so I had a lot of fun filming this apartment video. I just moved into this studio apartment. I live in Florida still. Um, and yeah, so this is like my first place on my own. If you want to know where anything is from or any links, uh, comment down below and I'll let you guys know. But yeah, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoy this apartment tour and hopefully I will be making more videos soon. If you have any video ideas, let me know down below like what you guys want to see and I will get right to that. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first walk in the door. Just door, <laughs> door, another door that's like the AC that I can't open. Um, but I just have a command strip on the wall with my purse. I do this everywhere I live, it's just so convenient. And then the shoes that I like literally always wear are right there on the floor. There's like the Amazon cloud slides. And then this is kind of like my junk closet. I mean, like put anything anywhere closet. Um, and then I keep my trash can right here, um, which is a little weird, but it's like the most perfect spot for my trash. So I keep it here and I mean, it keeps the smell out of everywhere else. So it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so I'll go in here. So in here is like, just like so random. I have a valet trash that comes every day, except for like the weekends, um, at night. So it's kind of stupid, but I take that trash and I put it in there. I didn't know I was going to have that. So I have two trash cans, whatever. Um, and I like set it outside my door. And then I just have my vacuum. I have like this black like folding square poker table. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm going to return it or not. I just thought it would kind of be nice to have. And haven't used it once. So can't decide. Um, and then this was in my old apartment. In my closet. But I have so many freaking shoes. So I keep my shoes in here. Um, I really don't wear any of these that much. And then at the top um it's like hair stuff which weirdly enough i don't really do besides like this i really don't do my hair that often which is really weird but there's that so yeah and then i just have random bags um need to return that random plastic bags and extra stuff that i never used when i moved my air fryer because it didn't fit anywhere else because i don't know how to move the shelves my pink toolbox um this cooler backpack which is amazing and then like all my like big marshalls ikea bags and all that stuff that i use moving and groceries okay so then if you turn this way we're gonna go into my bathroom so i just have these white bath <laughs> mats and if they look dirty it's because when i first moved here this rug this jute rug was like dirty and i couldn't figure out why my apartment was so dirty and it was because of that rug and to the right I have this thing that I got off Amazon. It has a bunch of extra white hand towels, toilet paper, spray, butt candle, my replica perfumes, and then these matches. Um, and then this plant, I believe, is from Home Goods from three years ago. But yeah. And then I just have a white towel that I never use. And then this I thought was pretty cool. This is, they're like little hooks that go over glass showers. Got it from Amazon and. I actually love this because I have this. This is what I've always done. Um, but it's just like so far away from the shower and it just has another towel and then my robe on it. Okay, so then if you go in my shower, it's kind of boring. Um, I have these stick-on shelves from Amazon. <laughs> I don't know, I just like don't have anything for this one yet. I'm definitely 100% sure I will. But I just have two. I always accumulate so much stuff. But I threw away a lot of stuff when I moved. And then this was like in the apartment. And it's just like my body wash and razor. Um, but yeah. It's just like a stand-in tub. Basically I just have like a bunch of pink stuff on the top of my counter. I love the gold detailing in this apartment. It's like one of my favorite things. And like 
the dark blue is something I never thought I like, would love, but I love it. Um, especially when you're just like renting and you want something different. But yeah, so I have those two cups. They're from Crate and Barrel. They're actually like drinking cups. They're like highball ribbed, like one's a whiskey glass, one's just like a cup. Um, has my toothbrushes and then Q-tips, Bath Muddy Works soap. And then that little container tray is from Target, like the bathroom section. And it just has like, I actually use all that stuff minus the Zara perfume in the front. It gives me such a bad headache, but I, it's cute. So I'm going to keep it out. But um, yeah, I actually use all that stuff and it just so happens to all be pink. So it's kind of funny, but yeah. And then as for drawer, and then I have three drawers. I'm not really going to go into this, but it just has like literally all my everyday bathroom stuff. And like, you know, the random stuff, like... All that fun stuff. The bathroom's here, and then if you walk this way, it looks like this. Um, so yeah, once again, this is a studio apartment, and it's like 500 square feet. So super tiny, but I love it, so yeah. Okay, so if you walk this way, we're actually gonna make a turn. So this is my washer and dryer. They're like extra large and awesome, and they're super quiet. And you can connect it to an app, um, basically like start it, end it, tells you when it's done. It's like literally so cool. I always have like <laughs> just like basic washer and dryers. So when I saw this, I was like so cool. I can actually wash my comforter here. Um, and then I just have like mop uh, and a broom back in the corner. Oh, and then I have a clothing drying rack right there um and then this i got this little idea from tiktok so smart i actually want to get a bigger one i didn't realize there's like bigger shoe can holders like this <laughs> like there's one with like a whole extra row and i kind of need that but super smart idea for all your cleaning supplies so cool um you can just see everything i have but it's super convenient and awesome i love it and yeah. Okay, so then we have this, which is like one of my absolute favorite parts about the apartment. I'm just like obsessed. Um, and then I also have a Pura plugged into the wall. Puras are amazing. I have two and I love them. You basically put like scent cartridges in them and you can turn it on and off with an app. I don't even have to be home. It's like literally amazing. Anyways, um, okay, so at the top, this is all stuff I've kind of had. Um, um, and then I just have like an anthro candle, that little tan container has all my Pura cartridges that I'm not using, um, the bubble candles from Amazon. The only fruit I really like keep out, or like vegetable, is like avocados, so I just put them up here. Kind of weird, but kind of smart. It kind of blends in, they're really cute and they're super green. Um, and then this next row, I have these glasses. And then I just have this little catch-all bowl. It's the same bowl as that one. I used to have them stacked before I thought of the avocado idea. Um, oh, and I have my lovely... I wanted to cover that, and then I, this screws into the wall, and I realized if I cover it, I'll never be able to open it. And then my Alexa, which I love so much. She's amazing. I have, like, Alexa lights and all that. Um, and then that candle's from Target. It smells like Santal, Santal 33, <laughs> Le Lavo scent. Um which is amazing i'm obsessed books i've had for actually forever um and then just a plant i haven't figured out what to put down there <laughs> so i have another target plant down there these target plants are from the fall like they had a bunch of really cute i have another one too here this jute rug is from amazon very dirty well i don't know well it was definitely the rug but i had to like vacuum it and just honestly like step on it a million times like it took like two weeks and now it's honestly like more brown looking and not dirty. But a lot of re reviews said it was dirty and I thought it was the packaging. Now I understand they're talking about the actual rug. And for my kitchen. Okay, so for the kitchen, this is my espresso machine. Underneath, I just have my dishwasher. Over here, I have this little soap set from Crate and Barrel. The little scrubby is from Curtain Barrel. This soap also smells like Santal 33. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> from Le Labo. It's the Vetiver, Vetiver. Why am I not pronouncing anything right? The Vetiver and Amber hand wash from Target. Literally smells exactly the same as that candle. And I have other things that smell like that scent as well. Um, but yeah, I love this whole setup. Target has a similar one as well. 
around the same price though so it wasn't really that big of a difference um and then i keep my dish soap and uh, sponge in the sink and then yeah. i found this sticky paper towel holder so instead of it having to be on the counter it sticks up here and it's actually so nice like if you have wet hands to just like reach up and you're still under the sink instead of like going over here getting the countertop like wet with whatever's on your hands this whole set i got from amazon which was also amazing it was like 50 dollars. came with every utensil you could ever need it came with all of this came with the cup came with like garlic crusher can opener wine op like literally all of that this is like another little zoop of mine it's actually from <laughs> dj max i'm good it's one of those and i always keep it on my counter because it's just nice or on the oven stove top um and then i just have hand towels my step stool that i have to use for everything because i'm 5'2 and all these counters are so high <laughs> it drives me insane but it's not the biggest problem in the world i just got this white one off of amazon thing board i've had for forever um and i didn't want to i wanted to put it there but there's like an outlet and the light switch so i just put it over here and it honestly looks pretty cute and then under the sink is kind of my like literal pantry, not like my snacks, like this is like pantry. And then we're kind of missing some because they're in the dishwasher, but these are all of my cups. Keep in mind, it's literally just me, so I don't have that many. So we have the kitchen over here, and then we have, keep in mind, it's a studio, my little nook of a bedroom. And when it's a bedroom, you put a bed in the room and that's it. <laughs> But yeah, so if it's a queen size bed, I've had this bed since last year. It's from overstock.com. And my bedding is the Casa Luna. This quote was from Target. Pillows are from Home Goods. I've had those I've had all this for like at least since December. My mom actually made this painting. It's like one of those like textured paintings. This was one of my greatest inventions I've ever thought of. So I'm on the side of my apartment where the sun rises so when i wake up it's actually so freaking bright in here and i'm used to blackout curtains so so the first couple nights sleeping here before my mom came to help me with stuff i was like hold up it is so freaking bright in here because this is obviously not a door and i have a crack up here and so i thought i had to get a different curtain rod because i screwed up the other one taking it out but i got this curtain rod off target i obviously couldn't use the middle piece which is a little scary um we'll see how long it lasts but I can always just get a new one. And I put the two curtains in here and I keep it like this. So no one can see it from the outside. It is black on the outside when it's closed, but like, it's just me. And then if anyone were to sleep here, they'd be sleeping in my, like, you know, it just doesn't matter. I'd rather have the white in the inside and look a little nicer when it's um, not extended. But yeah, I use it as black curtains and it goes all the way. And I just put them like right here. It honestly gets stretched the whole entire thing. The curtains are huge, but it's amazing. So kind of in the nook of the curtains, I have one nightstand. I have two. My mom so graciously kept the other one because I obviously love them and I didn't want to get rid of one. This is another Target plant, a Target lamp, and then I have Alexa lights in my lamps, which are amazing. Here somehow fits absolutely perfect in this corner. Like it's not, my bed's not touching it. It's like perfect and this mirror is from it's one of those things that's on everything it's from amazon though it's the gold it has like um a stand in the back i had it standing up in my last place but my closet it actually goes all the way there all the way there and all the way up it's actually amazing like i have it all empty right here waiting for my winter clothes because i do live in florida but i live in tampa so it does get a little cold so i'm sure i'll fill that up at some point but that's like empty right there. I have two baskets, workout clothes, swimsuits, my laundry. Like it's it's a little messy in here. I need to fix this. I just didn't want to do it for the video because I'll take a day at some point to organize this. Cause like even up here, like this is what I did on move in day. I probably don't want it like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like from this view. This is my dresser that was in my room, and I actually got this from like new york city vibes i've seen a lot of people do this in new york and it's literally the reason i thought of this or else i probably would have sold this and been so mad about it because i love this dresser sorry i'm turning the fan off i love this dresser obviously i don't have a room for it but this works amazing i literally have sweats underwear bra and then i have these 
to and this these like candles extra decor extension cords like all that kind of stuff that you would kind of like leave in like a living room in like an entertainment center is in these three so it's actually so nice it's just like a mix of stuff i have this plant i believe it's from my mom got it it's just a fake plant um this is from ikea though super cute we filled it with like green moss it looks like really cute actually and then these three baskets obviously more storage is better storage my other lamp these used to be like on my nightstands in my bedroom but that one's also an alexa light so then on here this is just a vase from target with i can't think of anything right now what are these called dragon's breath baby's breath <laughs> from chicken shows i don't know <laughs> um this snake plant she said it gives oxygen and i don't know it's really cute you basically neglect it you never have to water it so it's pretty nice um and then this this i believe is from home goods and i'm obsessed with it it's like literally so cute i hadn't envisioned like this is what i was doing when i saw it these green balls are from amazon they're a little dirty but i've cleaned it up a million times it's so annoying and then i have my tv on like a cool tv mount where it like swivels and tilts and moves so i can actually see the tv from my bed Okay, and last but not least, we have my little living room, which is so tiny and cute. I finally got my dream couch. It is not the RHR City Furniture. It's actually Coleman Furniture, the Cali Pearl. They have a modular. Obviously, I had to keep in mind the amount of space I had. So I actually got purchased two end chairs which was just so bright of me. <laughs> so two end chairs, and then obviously like they go either way. Um, and I'm obsessed, it's literally amazing. I'm still getting it to where it's super, super comfy. Obviously it comes a little firm. So like I switch these out all the time because I sit like right in the middle. Um, and I usually always like put all the pillows up and just make it like a twin bed. It's so comfy. I knew if I was going to have a studio apartment and I was going to be working, I literally eat here. I've always done that my whole life. But, like, I love eating at, like, coffee tables, like, in front of the TV. Done that in, like, literally every apartment, every half, like, when I used to live at home. Um, which, obviously, I do not have a table, if you didn't realize. But I'll show you in a second. Um, anyways, I knew I wanted a comfy couch. And I know I'm going to have a bigger space eventually in my life. So I was like, you know what? I need to get a couch that I can build on. Like, immediately when I bought this, I already want to get... The middle piece and put it right here um which i think would fit if i put it all the way to the cat um the wall and then put this in front of that it's like the same size but i may like wait a couple months to do that but i wanted a couch i could build on so i can then eventually get like a middle piece and uh ottoman um and make it bigger so i didn't want to have to sell this couch because it's like my dream couch and i know like city furniture makes one that's like already connected which is the one i was looking at which fortunately was not it was too big and i would have bought that if it wasn't too big so i'm glad i got this they're super heavy they do not slide apart they're like 80 pounds each and it's just amazing you can wash the pillowcases everything you can take off this is my coffee table and my rug they're both from amazon and then that beaches book is from they sell it everywhere it's amazon i've seen that tj maxx it's like the gray melon so this coffee table actually lifts up which is like amazing i'll show you in a second but i love it and then there's storage in the inside so i keep my laptops and the remotes i have like eating like placemats in there too because i eat on here like a lot and obviously well it's not the type that would like ruin if it got hot but just nice to have yeah and then going to the photos above i've had this little mural this is like my fourth apartment it's in taken some things out, added some things, and I just like love it. Like I obviously love big pieces, but like I love this too. I'm gonna keep it real with how it looks in the inside because like honestly no one ever sees it. But this is what it looks like when it's lifted up and it looks like it would be uncomfortable, but when I sit on the couch, like I have the perfect amount of knee to like table length. It's like apps, it's like perfect. I don't hunch when I'm working, like it's amazing. I was like shocked at how perfect this ended up being. Okay, so I got this set off of Facebook Marketplace. It's like a bar top like table and then that little plant's from Target. I'm trying so hard not to show where I live. Yeah, so I actually have like a pretty decent sized balcony. There's more to the left as well. This is from Target. Oh no, it rained so bad last night and that's wet and I was just standing on it. 
And then here's the other side. I could put like lights out here and stuff. And then I wanna put like a really, really, really comfy big chair right here. Um, when it gets cooler, but that's just a thought. But yeah, pretty cute.